Uh, so in an update just before noon today, you estimated there were 100,000 votes yet to be counted. Uh, we're hearing now that 20,000 absentee votes in Flint won't be counted until tomorrow morning. Where are we right now? And when do you expect all the votes to be counted in Michigan? I'm actually confident that we'll have the vast majority, if not all, uh, ready to go, ready to announce tonight. Uh, and I've been in touch with the, the city clerk in Flint, as well as our election workers uh, around the state. So we're on track. Uh, and, um, and you know, I, I really think it's a success story of how hard our election workers have meticulously worked all across the state uh, in, in relatively um, calm and smooth environments. Uh, to ensure that we tabulate every valid vote and ensure that only valid votes are counted. Uh, there were crowds of election challengers at the TCF Center um, where Detroit absentee votes are being counted today. Uh, when did you most recently talk with the Detroit clerk? And do you know yet whether there uh, was an even number of Democratic and Republican election monitors allowed inside? Uh, we ha we have uh, I've spoken I spoke speak with the, the clerk regularly. I'm very confident in the integrity of the process and the transparency of the process. And I'm also uh, recognizing that right now, as we've said throughout this election cycle, that from the minute the polls close until the minute we have that full tabulation of results to announce, there would be uh, efforts to sow seeds of doubt amongst our voters and and the general public about the integrity of our processes. And that's really what we're seeing right now. We've had a transparent process, we've had a meticulous process, we've had a secure process. We've counted and evaluated the validity of every ballot. Uh, we've worked with bipartisan election workers to ensure that's the case. Uh, and we're gonna continue to do that until every ballot is counted in the state of Michigan. And I'm determined to ensure that count will continue as it has since the, the moment we were able to legally begin tabulating ballots at 7 a.m. on Tuesday. Uh, the Michigan Republican Party is looking into allegations that thousands of ballots were dropped off at the city of Detroit counting board after 3 a.m. Um, when volunteers had been told the last batch was counted. Do you know yet whether there's any validity to that claim? Well, the bottom line is every ballot in to the city clerk's office, to a ballot drop box in Detroit, or at a satellite clerk's office by 8 p.m. on Tuesday will be counted. And so what often happens is those ballots are then collected and delivered, uh, and this is, happens in every election, after 8 p.m. to the county board securely uh, and oftentimes with an escort to ensure their security. And then that tabulation begins counting so or begins being tabulated. So, uh, you know, my uh, understanding uh, is that that process was followed. I certainly expect it was. We know, again, that once ballots are then brought to the counting board, they are validated, uh, meaning that still every ballot must be confirmed to, through the signature process to be one voted by a registered voter uh, and only one per voter, as we know. All of that is validated before the envelope is even opened, before the ballot is, is flattened, sorted, and then put into the machine. Uh, so that, that secure process has many checks and balances in place. Uh, and so again, you know, I'm, I'm um, not going to respond to the misinformation and the, you know, the rumors and innuendo uh, that we knew was going to come at this moment to, again, try to sow seeds of doubt in our very well-established, secure process. Instead, I'm just going to continue uh, being very clear with everyone about what we have done, the work we will do, uh, and which I stand by alongside every clerk in the state. And I'm very proud of the fact that we have become close to finishing that secure methodical tabulation twice as faster than we had anticipated earlier in this election cycle. So, you know, I, I, I hope that the record-breaking voter turnout, the record-breaking number of people who voted absentee, the speed and efficiency with which uh, the each ballot and each ballot ballot has been continued to, lead to be securely tabulated, that's the real truth. That's the real story of what Michigan's elections are about. Uh, and my confidence is that that story is ultimately the one, the one uh, that will rule the day as we move forward uh, into uh, the, the towards the end of this election cycle. As you alluded to, we've seen some mistrust uh, among voters about the state's count. Um, as Michigan's top election official, do you have any reason not to trust the process or the results as they're coming in? I do not. I have full confidence in the process. And as I just mentioned, it was secure. Uh, and, and we even set up a website, michigan.gov slash election security, to detail a lot of the security protocols we had in place, recognizing that misinformation of this very kind that we've seen percolating uh, and uh, throughout uh, the past 36 hours was exactly what we knew and, and every data point suggested would occur based on uh, all the security briefings we'd, we'd received up to this point. But that said, uh, there's been so much scrutiny 
on this election in Michigan, particularly over the past 24 hours, that we have every reason to believe, and I'm fully confident that uh, that scrutiny has yielded and revealed the real truth of the integrity of the process, which I'm very proud of, and which our election workers, I know to a T, will continue to stand by, uh, and who everyone who is truly watching the process, truly observing the process, has respected it, has understood its integrity. And I do hope, and just as we were in this place yesterday, I do hope that we will continue to rise above this sort of um, divisive politics and recognize the will of the voters. However that may play out is one that we all must respect uh, and that we can come together in advancement and appreciation of that will and the reflection of the vote uh, and move forward as a state because we've got a lot of work to do in the months uh, ahead.